really quickly thought I would show you how I pack and what I pack in my swim bag for when I go to the river. Obviously it's kind of heading into spring but the water's still quite cold so even if you're swimming in like just a swimsuit like I do, um, you need quite a lot of stuff to help you keep warm and kind of wrap up afterwards and get dry. So I start off with a changing mat. This is like, this is an actual changing mat because it's like canvasy on one side and fleecy on the other. You can use old yoga mat, old carpet, a doormat, an old towel, just something to stand on to stop your feet getting muddy and um, kind of have a barrier between the cold floor and you is super useful. I like this one um, mainly because it's got like a little loop so you can put your swim stuff in there for a swim, wrap it all up and it keeps all kind of the wet stuff together. So that goes in. I then have um, a hoodie, like I'm wearing a jumper, but I will always take another jumper with me to put on after a swim. So I've got one more layer and I'll probably even put, cause it's quite cloudy today, like a body warmer um, in there as well. Just cause if the sun's not out and it might be a little bit windy cause I haven't been outside yet. Um, it's just important to have more layers. I always try and say, take one more that I think I'll need. And I've normally got a couple of spares in my car, just from not having taken them out of the car, to be honest. Um, the thing I nine times out of 10 forget is a towel. Um, you can make do with that one, but it can be a bit awkward. So, um, whack a towel in there. Obviously, drying self is important. Um, I've then got my actual sort of stuff I actually swim in. So I've got my goggles. Um, these ones are like a little bit tinted but not really tinted because you can get a little bit of glare but I find fully tinted ones in March are a bit too dark because it's not always that sunny. And then something I've just started using last year is earplugs. Um, my ears were getting a bit itchy and um, water was getting in them and irritating my ears so I've started wearing earplugs and makes such a difference, <laughs> one for the cold and two like my ears don't hurt which is amazing. Um, I haven't got the box for them anymore because I lost it. Um, normally lose the earplugs as well so I'm doing it quite well. Um, so I always pop the earplugs in my swim cap to keep them all together. I normally take two swim caps. One because wearing two caps keeps you warmer in the water, keeps your head warmer if you're not wearing neoprene. And I think I've just got it built in me that you always have a spare of most things. Um, already got my swimsuit on, so I've also got underwear in there. That's an important one not to forget. Um, but if I'm going down there in the summer and I'm not getting changed beforehand, I normally whack a swimsuit and another kind of swimsuit in there just to cover all eventualities. Maybe like a rash vest or some neoprene leggings or some leggings if it's really sunny or really cold. And I'm just splashing about. But kind of whatever swim clothing you want to take. So that's my goggles and my swim cap. Another boost for warming up. Even though it's March, still really cold. I think the water yesterday was like maybe six degrees. So I've got a nice hot water bottle that I'll fill up in a minute and put in there. Um, and then the most important thing that I really can't do with that is my flask. Um, a hot drink helps me so much. One, it's nice to chat over, and two, it just keeps, it makes me warm on the inside, basically. So that's a durable thing. I'm a bit paranoid. I always check before I put it in the bag um, if it's going to leak. It hasn't yet, but I always check anyway. So that's my bag. It, what I like about my dry bag is you roll it down and then the bag itself is waterproof. I also have a tow float for my phone and my keys and to wear to be visible in the river. But this keeps my stuff dry um, on the bank if it's raining or whatever or windy. And then to be warm afterwards, I've got my big coat. This is a dry robe, but there's Charlie McLeod, smocks, marks, loads of them out there. And if you don't want to buy one, um, any old parka or like a dressing gown, just something big, fluffy on the inside to put on, wrap up warm quickly. Um, yeah, I really like um, the windproofness of this one. I had it a couple of years and it's still going strong. That's the swim kit bag. 